Shalom, the Lord bless you. <laughs> I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so happy saying this particular prophetic word because this is too good to be true. And this is a dream come true for somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. I mean, he is to know. Calm down. If you calm, calm, calm. Right. If you're clicking on this particular prophetic word, you must have seen the titles. But you know what I always say? Titles do not do justice at all. Because there's somebody who looks at the title and says, this title is not for me. Whereas the word could be for you. Titles do, doesn't do justice at all. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the title of this particular prophetic word, have I said, Lord bless you? Okay, let me just go ahead. Let me just go straight, okay? The title of this particular prophetic word says, Someone you've been admiring is coming to you for a love talk. Someone you've been admiring, someone you've been admiring is coming to you for a love talk. They're coming to tell you about their love interest. They're coming to talk to you that they feel for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh this is so good it's, it's 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 so good to be true now okay okay calm down calm down calm down now i heard this so clear somebody you've been admiring somebody you looked at like wow this person looks wow oh this person looks amazing they are coming to you to talk to you about their interest they love you. And it's, it's so surprising that they love you. Even me, I'm surprised. But on the other hand, I'm not surprised because this has happened to me a couple of times. You know, most of the times I, I tell us that I always give a prophetic word. And most of the times, not all the times, most of the times when I'm given a prophetic word, there is always a story of mine that would drop in my spirit. I don't know how, but one of the things about me is that I'm an honest person. I will tell you straight to the point. And even if the story concerns me, I'm still going to tell you, you know, yeah. So it's so strange and it's a very beautiful thing when you love somebody and then they come to tell you that they love you they are so interested in you you know sometimes it's surprising sometimes it's a dream come true and sometimes it's just normal all right sometimes it's just so so normal but this happens to a lot of people but it depends if this is who you really like if this is who you know there are people who are crutching on other people and and the notice that the people they are crutching on falls in love with them. And there are people who just admire people. Now, I've been in that position several times where I just admire somebody. No zero intentions, okay? This is my own um, testimony. Or this is my story to this prophetic word with zero intentions. I've been in a position where I look at a man like, oh, wow, this man is nice. Okay. And then I go my way. I've been in position when I look at a guy like, oh, wow, he's handsome. I go my way. Now, I am used to telling ladies you're beautiful. But I've never told a guy that I don't know you're handsome. I would not even do that in the first place. Because to me, it's going to look like I'm flirty. Okay? People have the way they reason. All right? So I can only look at a handsome person who catches my attention like, oh, wow, he's handsome. And then I go my way. But if I see a beautiful girl... Who catches my attention that is close to me that i see i always tell you you're beautiful you know why when you tell people they are beautiful you boast up their values you know i heard about a story i used to tell a little girl how beautiful she is when i meet her i say oh you're beautiful and then another time again i met her i said oh wow pretty girl and, you know i was she was greeting me and i was greeting her i was addressing her and and then she carried that on her head she walks about telling people i'm a beautiful lady you know, that helped boost her confidence. She felt different. She felt valued, valuable, valued, whatever you can understand, you know. And I was so happy when I heard that. Then I understood maybe she had complex. For somebody to have been in that particular position, probably she had complex. And right now, hearing that from her makes her feel different and amazing. I've seen a lot of men or oh, guys... Like when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about grain and all of that. 
I look at him and I'm like, oh, this person is beautiful. This person is handsome. And then I go my way. But guess what always happened? I always notice that those same people always get interested in me. I didn't look at them twice. Like, I can just look at you like, oh, okay. Now, the one serious thing about me, get this straight, I hardly mark people. I hardly, I can hardly look at you and say, ah, he was wearing this, she was wearing this. So if you're really, really good, that's where, how I get to see it, okay? So, but I noticed that anybody have ever said, this person is wow, always comes back to be interested in me. How? I cannot tell. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot tell. I'm telling you, even if the person is in a different place, like, like if I, if, if, if we're in the same country, right? And I just see this person like, oh, this person is handsome. And then I go my way. Somehow there is always a way that, that the person always loves me. I cannot explain. I don't know. I don't understand. It's either I'm going to hear that, oh, this so and so person is admiring you, loves you. I'm like, uh, uh. Was it not the person I just saw? I said, ah, this person is nice, handsome, like, wow, oh, wow, I passed. That always happens. But the thing is that I'm never interested. So I, I, I only admired the person, but I wasn't interested in having something to do with the person. And I noticed that happened to me. But I'm talking about somebody that is here who is interested. You're interested, and if they come to you, you're going to say yes. I'm praying for you right now that let the will of the Lord be done. Let the will of the Lord be. Let the Lord bring a kingdom spouse, a partner that you love and that to make you happy in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a dream come true. It's too good to be true. You see it come to pass and you will know that God is God. Please, if this word has blessed you, you want to sow a seed, you want to give an offering, you want to make donation, you can kindly get to my about. And you can do whatever you want to do. You want to plant a seed, make donations, offering, however you're led to do that. The Holy Spirit led me to start saying that. And that's my boss. And I'm going to say that in all of my videos, if I remember. God bless everybody. I see a lot of people so super, give super tongues. I see a lot of people send seeds on my PayPal, my catch up. God bless you powerfully. When I see your names, I always call. When I see your seeds, I make sure that I call your names and always bless you. I don't see a seed and just look at it like that. No, when I see a seed, I make sure that I call and I bless. And that's how I've got to notice some names. I've got to notice some names of people that I don't even know because I always see their seeds. God bless everybody. Making donations towards this ministry is helping this ministry a lot and is helping me personally. Please don't forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord to lead you. Call my name. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. I love you already. If you already subscribed and joined the family now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you, and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.